Uh, welcome to your gold market update charts of the day. It's Monday, the 7th of August 2023. Mike Smith, senior analyst at Gold Markets, to lead you around what's happening as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session today. Of course, we saw mild losses in the session on Friday in the US after a sell off in the last couple of hours. But earnings continue to surprise generally. The latest figures suggest that with over 80% of the S&P 500 reporting earnings so far, 79% are beating EPS, around about 65% beating on revenue. So certainly an upbeat earnings season and one that's taken the markets up to bullish territory across all the major indices. US futures are higher in the Asian session, but Asian markets are following that weak US lead from Friday, the ASX is down around 0.3%. Real estate and energy were outperforming early on, but we're just seeing a little pullback in energy stocks right now. European futures are pointing to a slightly softer open as the European markets closed prior to that late Wall Street sell-off. The VIX closed at two-month highs, but it's still historically low. It's trading around about 15 at the moment. Historical average is around about 19, just to put it into context. The US dollar index traded lower again on Friday. It's near neutral overall in Asia so far. As a result, gold has held 1940. Copper is trading around the important 385 level. And oil continues to push higher and continues the uptrend it's been in over the last couple of weeks. Bitcoin is holding support at 29,000, as it has done for the last two weeks. And earnings continue, of course, this week. On the data front today, we have very little coming out. We've got German industrial production, Swiss jobs. The only significant numbers to come across the wires. There's a couple of Fed members due to speak later as the US session starts. So that may create a little bit of a ripple in markets accordingly. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. Uh, we're quite interested in elders, which are looking like an ascending triangle formation. Sort of stuck underneath this 730 level which it is testing again today. Plenty of upside in this, possibly to around about $8 in the medium term if we should get a breach of this. But there does appear to be some reluctance over the last week or so to breach 7.30. So want to keep an eye on if it does towards the back end of the trading session. In the FX front, it's a very choppy and flattish day today. But we can see the Aussie yen on the 30-minute chart is looking to test this R1 level at 93.66. Should we get a breach of that, then certainly a test of 94 is on the cards. You can see here, if we just put a level at the high from Friday, you can see that is around about this 94 level also corresponds to the high the day before that and a swing high on Wednesday as well last week. So there could be a move up of around about 40 pips in the first instance, probably the higher probability trade comes if we sort of get anywhere near this 94.50 level to the upside uh, want to keep an eye on for sure trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now